More people are struggling to pay for the roof over their head and need help. Local nonprofit Jesse Tree helps Idahoans in that very situation, and they say demand for their services is up. Get this, 300 percent, and they just can't help everyone in need. Andrew Bartline spoke with a Boise woman who's behind on rent right now. Andrew, she seems to be one of many who's falling through the cracks. Yeah, Regina Mason lives with her son. They're in a dual income household, but after her son caught COVID, he had to miss work. That alone put them a full month behind on rent. Finding an affordable apartment in Boise isn't easy. It's, it's horrible. And Regina Mason couldn't find one. So she's paying $1,800 a month and splitting the bill with her son. But they're now behind a month's rent after her son caught COVID and missed six weeks of work. With him being half of my income, it really hit us hard. To qualify for the emergency rental assistance program, a two-person household can make no more than 80% of the area's median income. According to the Boise City Ada County Housing Authority, that's $48,200 a year. Income guidelines that they have set out, which they do for a year's time span rather than just the one month's help that we needed. It happens to a lot of people who have a rapid income change. Local nonprofit Jesse Tree provides rental assistance and eviction court prevention services. Executive Director Ali Robbie says Jesse Tree received 3,500 applications in 2021, but they can only help one in every four applicants. We're a nonprofit. We have limited resources. We can only support, you know, a, a a small percentage of people come to us. Rabe says anyone seeking assistance should still apply as Jesse Tree prioritizes the most vulnerable. And most often, that's also people making less than 80% the median income. People are living in their cars and I'm one step away from living in my car. It leaves people like Regina slipping through the cracks. I've had my power turned off, my phone's turned off. I've tried to get second jobs, and unfortunately, because this takes so much of my time, it interferes with my day job trying to get this help. And I'm praying to God I can find something cheaper, but it doesn't look good around town. Now, Jesse Tree has some private funding, and through that money, they are sometimes able to help people that are above that 80% median wage threshold. But for a lot of people in this situation, Jesse Tree says it's best to try to set up a payment plan with your landlord. Regina says her only communication with her landlord has been a list of resources. Mm -hmm. Of course, those are resources that she doesn't qualify for. Andrew, this just goes to show we need to expand that safety net, especially as rent continues to rise in the Treasure Valley. Yep, people can slip through the cracks. Yeah, all right, Andrew Bartline, thank you.